when we face an issue like a call failed or no audio in SIP. For the most of the time, we need to get the PCAP dump file and check the packets. In this video, we will introduce how to use Wireshark to analyze a SIP call. PCAP dump file contains all the protocols travel the network card, and Wireshark has expressions to filter the packets, so that can display the particular messages for the particular protocol. Here are some common strings listed below. In Wireshark, if you want to filter SIP protocol, you can just enter SIP into the dialog box and press enter, like I just did. If you want to filter RTP streams, enter RTP, then you can browse all the package from the top to the bottom. And if you want to filter packets with RTCP, you can just enter it. Then you can get all the package with real-time transport control protocol, both in sender report and source descriptions. And if you want to filter by IP address, the operation will be a little different. Please enter the following command. This command will help you quickly find the package you need. So after briefly introduce some filters, in the second part of this video, we will describe in detail how to analyze a SIP call. Use the menu entry telephony to VoIP calls. Choose the calls you want to check and click the flow sequence button. We can see the graph of this call with some details, including SIP signaling flow between different UA directions, source and destination part of RTP streams, and even you can see the codec of the RTP stream. When we capture packets on the SBC, the number of SIP calls is very huge, and the above method is not effective anymore. So here is what we should do. Wireshark have plenty of filters for SIP protocol. Most common use is SIP method and SIP call ID. Now we find the messages with the invite flag in SIP. And then right click it. Choose apply as filter selected. Then we can see all the SIP call flow. Usually, SIP will generate a random call ID number for each call, so we can mark one SIP call with the call ID parameter, select one of the calls, and find the call ID in the message header section, right-click call ID, choose Apply as filter, then select. After filtering, we can see all the SIP flow in this PCAP dump file. Use the menu entry, telephony, VoIP calls, opening flow sequence for comparison. In this graph, we can see that every event matches up. This approach allows you to more accurately filter out the SIP call streams you want to analyze in a complex call scenarios. In some cases, Wireshark cannot face the SIP content smoothly because Wireshark will face the content according to the default part of the protocol. And when the default part is occupied, facing errors will occur. Here we will analyze a case. Typing SIP in the dialog box, it shows nothing. And type RTP, we get the same result. In this case, we have to analyze the information message by message. So we scan each message from the first one to the bottom. In the first 190 messages, no abnormalities were found. But until the 120th message, we found an unusual message about the logical link control protocol a data link layer protocol that is incorrectly phased at the application layer. There is a simple protocol layer diagram to help you understand why logical link control shouldn't be here. Therefore, we can determine that there is a problem here. 
and further look at the packet part of the message, we can find that there is hidden zip information. So here we right click on this message and select the code as to face the message from the same part as a zip message. You will see that this message is rendered back to normal and you can now view the SDP information. Using zip filtering again, you can also get the results and all the original logical link control information has disappeared. So after analyzing a zip call, in the last part of this video, we intend to analyze the RTP flow during the call. When we have a voice issue, we could check the following problem with Wireshark. Is the RTP stream exist? Is the RTP stream sent and received on the right IP address and port? When analyzing RTP stream, we still use SIP method and SIP call ID to do the filtering, like I just did in the SIP section. In the SDP information of the SIP packet, we can find this line, which indicates the port number of the RTP stream's transmission. Then we use the menu telephony RTP RTP streams by checking source part to find the stream you need to analyze. You could press reverse button to get a two-way RTP stream, then click Analyze. You can see more information presented in both data and graphical formats. Click Place Streams. This will help you understand more visually if there is a problem with RTP stream through sound. Alright guys, this is what we have in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, get more detail about troubleshooting, check our knowledge base, get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center. I'll see you guys in the next one.